Okay, um, my shifters, I want to go over a few facts or factoids. Who knows at this point, right? That's quite alarming to me. Um, so let's get into it. And then the rest of the video, I sort of give my thoughts and just considerations. And I definitely don't want any negativity on my page and in the discussion. I just want a healthy discussion if people are going to comment. And if not, I mean, just, you know, anyways, let's get into it. So I woke up this morning. I like to um, meditate, read. Um, and also I've been starting to read um, the newspaper or e-newspaper. And I saw this article from the Washington Post and it's entitled, The Coronavirus is Infecting and Killing Black Americans at an Alarming High Rate. Um, and it goes on to talk about, um, as the novel coronavirus sweeps across the United States, it appears to be infecting and killing Black Americans at a disproportionately high rate, according to a Washington Post analysis of early data from jurisdictions across the country. And I just thought this was, you know, I'm a black woman, so it's quite alarming. Of course, I'm going to read it. Um, the emerging stark racial disparity led the Surgeon General Tuesday to acknowledge, to acknowledge in person terms the increased risk for African Americans amid growing demands that public health officials release more data on the race of those who are sick, hospitalized, and dying of a contagion that has killed more than 12,000 people in the United States. And so they sort of give these breakdown, like I'm in the DMV area, so of course I was looking at that. Um, it's quite alarming, guys. Um, in Milwaukee County, home to Wisconsin's largest city, African Americans account for about 70% of the dead, but just 26% of the population. The disparity is similar in Louisiana, where 70% of the people who have died were black, although African Americans make up just 32% of the state's population. It goes to talk about Michigan, Illinois. Um, so I'm going to leave the link to this article in the description. I am going to go to two other websites and then again, I'll get into the commentary. I just want to go over some facts or factoids as I like to call them. Please do your own research. Um, okay. So I am on the um, CDC's page for African American health. And um, I just wanted to go over some of the stats they listed. African Americans ages 18 to 49 are two times as likely to die from heart disease than white. African Americans ages 35 to 64 years are 50% more likely to have high blood pressure than whites. Um, but this right here is um, quite uh, telling. So it says young African Americans are living with diseases more common at older ages. So it shows like high blood pressure. Um, you see that the legend African American is like a burgundy color. And for whites, it's like a till, I guess. But in, you see diabetes or leading stroke. And it even says, Afri the caption, African-Americans are more likely to die at, at early ages from all causes. That's very depressing. Um, and it gives another graph. It says deaths per 100,000 people. It breaks it down by ages again. Wow. So, um, it says some social factors and health risks affect African Americans at younger ages. So, I definitely am for my channel. You guys know from my shift in keto, um, I'm starting to learn that, like, like the whole person or is 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 a part of like our our health you know or the whole person health is definitely like detrimental it's or is integral rather it's like at the core of the whole person but look at the obesity um for 
African Americans. It seems like we have a problem just in general here, but um, so yeah. So just, I'll leave these links so you can go and peruse on your own. And um, I did want to read this. The difference, the difference, hold on, let's go. The, when diseases start early, they can lead to death earlier. Chronic diseases and some of their risk factors may be silent or not diagnosed during these early years. Health differences are often due to economic and social conditions that are the more common among African-Americans than whites. For example, African-American adults are more likely to report they cannot see a doctor because of cost. All Americans should have the equal opportunities to pursue a healthy lifestyle. So, um, okay. I'm going to go to um, the, Department of Helps, uh, the Department of Health website and... And then we're going to get to my thoughts on things. And I would love to hear your comments and, and the, your commentary and thoughts. So my chapters, I am on the hhs.gov. It's the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Office of Minority Health. I'm going to go to Black African. Oopsie, I picked the wrong. I did, I picked the right one. Okay. So I don't know how to get this pop-up to stop coming, but I'm just looking at the profile for black African-Americans. The statistics, I read this earlier and it seems to be um, numbers from 2017, 2018 timeframe. And I saw some 2016, not saying it's not relevant, but just noting that this is a really, I mean, still good information. Um, it talks about the economics, um, the insurance and the health, but I wanted to look at asthma and just, you know, I'm just picking, um, a disease and I just want you to see that, um, African-American women were 20% more likely to have asthma than non-Hispanic whites in 2015. Black children are four times more likely to be admitted to the hospital for asthma as compared to non-Hispanic white children. While all of the causes of asthma remain unclear, children exposed to secondhand tobacco smoke exposure are at increased risk for acute lower respiratory tract infections such, such as bronchitis. Children living below or near the poverty level are more likely to have high levels of blood, blood Contanine, a breakdown product of nicotine or cotinine, sorry, than children living in high, higher um, income families. But I just wanted to scroll down. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at, look at these stats, guys. But I thought there was like a quick, um, I'm going to go with obesity and, um, African-American women have the highest rates of obesity or being overweight compared to other groups in the United States. About four out of five African-American women are overweight or obese. People who are overweight are more likely to suffer from high blood pressure, high levels of blood fats, blood fats, diabetes, and LDL cholesterol, all risk factors for heart disease and stroke. Risk factors. Obesity is a risk factor for several diseases. For statistics on these related diseases, see diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Okay, and I have one more site to, and again, I may leave this in the link. I'm gonna leave all these in the link, uh, in the description for you guys. So my shifters, I discovered this site when I was doing research for another project that I'm still working on. Um, blackdemographics.com. As you can see, it has um, different categories of information and their references. They sort of, they, not they sort of, but they reference the same sites that I just went to. And it seems like they take an aggregate for the black population in the U.S. So they give, um, oh, they actually have a black COVID-19 tracker. Interesting. 
So black population in the U.S. is 47.8 million. So we make up 14.6 of the U.S. And um, wow, really good. So I want to go, I want to check out that COVID. What is this? Okay. Oh, wow. So I guess they're trying to track the data as much as possible about the population, the percentage of COVID-19 and the percentage of disease. It says the CDC has not reported any COVID-19 data by race. So far, the, the these are the only state reporting data. Due to the disparities seen so far, it is important that either the CDC or more state health departments start releasing information. Okay, so they're just kind of keeping track of things and it doesn't look good, guys. Okay, let me go back. Okay, I want to look at, let me go to the top. I think that'll be easier. I want to look at health and health status and life expectancy. Let's try that. Okay. Okay, I'm just looking. It talked about like overall, like I guess, I guess since the beginning of our history here um, in America, it seems like we are having increased life expectancy. It's still not um, at the rate of our, our counterparts. Okay. So it says, okay, let's look at this. Top 10 causes of deaths for Black Americans, 1980 and 2016. So in 2016, it was diseases of heart, cancer, unintentional injury, stroke, and other cere cere cerebrovascular diseases, diabetes, chronic lower respiratory diseases, homicide, kidney disease, Alzheimer's disease, and septicemia. I don't know if that's pronounced that right, guys. Sorry. Okay, let's, I'm trying to, okay. So essentially, it's looking for, let's go to obesity. Okay, I think I already touched upon that. So the CDC, okay, according to CDC, a person is overweight if they have a BMI, body mass index of more than 25. Obesity begins when a person has a BMI of 30 or more. The CDC considers obesity a serious chronic disease. It increases, one risk, it increases one's risk of developing conditions, conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, type two, heart disease, stroke, gallbladder disease, and cancer of the breast, prostate, and colon. And so as you can see, um, black women seem to be, yeah, they are at the top. And next is Hispanic men, and then, and then whites, and white men and white women. I think obesity is just the issue in general here. But it's definitely an issue for black women. Um, hmm. An interesting note is that the obesity rate for black women decreased with higher education attainment. 58% of black women with high school or less education are considered obese compared to 52% of black women with a bachelor degree or higher. Okay. So, um, let's have a discussion and, um, I'm wondering if I'm going to put this at the beginning or end of my rant, but we'll see.